Hey Cancer, what's up? Welcome to another reading of yours. This is going to be for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. We're going to have a look at who's coming towards you in love. This is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out the other placements, all right? If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down in the description box below. Mm. All right, the person that you're dealing with, right, is someone who's coming off as very cold, icy, detached, okay? This person out here is not the best at communication. There is no communication from this person's side. We're just keeping you very stuck on them. You are stuck on them. You're not being able to move on to them, move on from them. Why is that? Because I, this person is not giving you closure. This person keeps you confused. But let me tell you something. This can be an overthinker out here, okay? So this person overthinks and they make you overthink, okay? Now you're confused. You're not being able to cut um, ties with this person here. Let me tell you something. You feel that you can't move on from them. You feel like you're stuck in a connection with them. But you need to trust your intuition. You're not being able to trust your intuition, okay? You're away from your intuition. Which is why you feel that there is no way to go and there is no way you can escape. And this is what it is, okay? This is more like that devil energy okay? that keeps you stuck. It creates an illusion that there is no way out. But there is a way out, but you're coming in your own way, okay? This person is clearly not communicating with you. They have ego issues. Their ego is running the show, but they're being very, very manipulative. Okay, very manipulative. Let's see. Okay. All right. Yeah, see, this person has trust issues. That's what's happening here. They have trust issues. They uh, have either gone through hell and back in the past because of which this person can't move, uh, move towards you and take a leap of faith with you that everything's going to be okay. Or this person just generally has trust issues, okay, overall. They're just not someone who will jump in, okay. They're not being, they're not um, uh, someone, you know, who can move on with a plan without knowing the agenda. You, on the other hand, here, I feel you're waiting for this person to make a decision or you need to make a decision, yes or no, left or right. You want to move on, you want to stay, okay, stuck here. That's what's happening here. Or you could be, this person could be watching you from a distance. You could be watching them from a distance here is also what I'm getting here. I'm getting more like this person's watching you from a distance and they know they need to make a choice out here, okay? But they're keeping you stuck and they're not making a choice. While you, on the other hand here, are waiting for this person to make a choice. But neither are they communicating. They're not giving you any clarity, no closure, no plans of moving forward, nothing at all, okay? And all this is because there is a new beginning here. There is an opportunity here where this person can jump and go, you know, like cross that bridge to come towards you. But trust faith belief hope is what this person has to have and none of this is what this person has right now very reckless very impulsive decision probably if there was a separation between you guys or you're not talking it could also have been a very impulsive decision you'd be like what like i mean you know they just make a call you know like they just take a call overnight you know without giving much thought to it could be in a long distance relationship but someone out here is planning about what to do next okay what to do next let's see you're not being able to trust your intuition right now okay you're not i think the universe is giving you your the universe is giving you a lot of messages the universe is trying to give you a lot of hints a lot of signs okay but you're not being able to interpret it in the right way or you you know, it's like you're taking the information, but you're trying to convert it into something more logical. Okay. But you need to trust your intuition. Your intuition is completely blocked right now. Okay. I think you're overthinking also a lot here. Mm. This person feels very isolated and lonely without you. Okay. This person feels left out. They feel abandoned by you. You're giving them the cold shoulder. You're not talking to them. Or, uh, you know, they just feel very lonely rather than not talking to them. I feel they just feel very lonely. They have this, this lack mindset. That could be one of the reasons why they don't want to jump in with this, okay? Because they feel you're too good for them is also what I'm getting. Or they feel they're not good enough for you. Or, you know, sometimes this person just could be wondering, how can I even get someone like this, you know, who loves me so much here? I think you've given this person your all, but right now you're in a very negative mindset. You need to be in a more positive mindset, you know, you need to get that um a splash of cold water on your face okay but till you don't trust your intuition you will never get into this isn't that what i told you you need to trust your intuition to get out of it and know that there are possibilities where other you can move on from this person or whether you can do something about them i feel you're more like needing to make a choice but you're sitting on the face not making a choice okay 
I think there's a lot of inner confusion. Rather than external confusion, I think there's inner confusion. There's a lot of things that you don't know, okay? And you're in that unknown energy out here. This person feels very lonely, okay? This person has a very... Uh, they have they have a tendency of being very codependent on other people out here if not you someone else but they're very codependent okay they always need you to bring them up lift them up support them etc hmm. see how stressed you are yeah this person wants to work on this connection you know they want to work on this connection out here but I think they're not working on this connection right now by working on themselves. They're trying to put all their focus on their career, their money, their goals, etc. By putting their focus onto something more positive, right? Something that's working out for them. They're working on themselves in order to work on this connection is what I'm getting here. So I think they're working on all these negative patterns that they're going through. You, on the other hand here, you're overthinking, overanalyzing. Stop that. Stop that look it's getting worse very soon you're going to have you put you're going to put an ending to this connection is what i'm getting here because you're going to be overburdened over exhausted you're in that victim mentality you're going to feel like you know uh, you you manifested all the negative things into reality okay stop overthinking you're making mountains out of molehills right now is what i'm getting here things are not as bad as they seem to be Maybe you can just walk away quietly or maybe you can just focus on something else here. But you're making it too bad for yourself by, you know, overthinking this. This, this is not really required, you know, not really required out here. I think you're suffering in silence right now, not letting anyone know what you're going through. I think it's this tendency, you know, that you have to make mountains out of molehills, right, which uh puts you in a more pessimistic place you know which gives you more negative thoughts out here is what i'm getting here you're not using your uh, capabilities to the optimum okay which can get you out of this situation or which can make you happy what action do you plan on taking to assist person okay positive mindset thank you what action does this person plan on taking knight of cups beautiful all right so your positive mindset finally like i told you right you are going to reach that point where you're going to be like you know what no this is it this is rock bottom you will reach a point of rock bottom you will be done overthinking over analyzing okay thinking of the worst and i think that you're going to be in that place of where you need healing you're not going to make any move towards this person but i think you're going to heal stay in a calm place there's this calm after the storm and i feel there's going to be a lot of healing spiritual guidance that's going to be coming in for you okay meditation etc but you're going to uh, try and balance out the situation you're going to heal is what i'm getting here inner healing this person out here is finally going to by working on themselves they're going to come towards you opening up wanting to come towards you and giving you uh, some kind of uh, apology a love offer okay some kind of commitment whatever it is but an emotional commitment okay something that has emotions involved here so yeah no matter what they do they will finally come towards you and open up okay keep doing what you're doing that's the right thing to do let's see the outcome okay so what i'm getting here is that this person still refuses to change okay still refuses to change there is a change needed from this person's side here right but before they can go through the entire cycle change right they come back towards you again if you take them back there, there's still going to be a cycle here that they won't end there's still going to be the same negative pattern that's going to be repeating itself over and over again which is going to land up being unfair you're still going to feel that things are not fair things are not balanced you're still going to feel cheated betrayed you're still going to feel that you're not getting things the way you wanted them to or you won't get justice so continue healing this person comes back towards you okay they are they're not gonna let you go that's for sure they're not gonna let you go they'll refuse to let this connection end here but you know but because they're not ending this connection right like i said there's a negative pattern a thought pattern a belief system that's repeating itself over and over again which is going to lead to a lot of injustice imbalance in this connection which has been in this connection before also if you choose to take them person back, let me tell you, if you choose to take this person back, let me tell you, they still haven't come towards you as completely changed. They haven't transformed yet, okay? Because they know if they need to come towards you, they need to transform, they need to push themselves out of their comfort zone, okay? In order for you to, for, for them to take things to the next level or in order for them to 
have a healthy relationship with you okay where both parties are happy here i think you're going to be landing you're going to land up being unhappy again okay but they're coming towards you as usual the knights they come and go right that's the knight of cups here is going to they're going to come and sweep you off your feet whatever it is if you slip in for this right it's like it's very dicey out here if you slip in for this without being healed right that's where you're ending up the cycle still continues and you're going to land up land up in a dead mess okay so that's what i happen hope this reading resonates and i'll see you next time bye bye